Today, Governor Cooper and the U.S. Health and Human Services Secretary will be in Charlotte pushing for more people to get vaccinated. It comes as the state draws its next million dollar vaccine lottery winner. It's the second of four drawings throughout the summer. If you are 18 or older, a North Carolina resident and at least partially vaccinated as of Sunday, you've been automatically entered to win. Wake up Charlotte's Richard Devane joins us live. So Richard, how are you feeling about your chances today? <laughs> hey, um, hopefully this week, Sarah, so I can be off tomorrow. But no, uh, I feel uh, as hopeful as anybody else who's been vaccinated. But the goal and the reason the governor will be here at the transit center behind me is because he wants to convince those folks who haven't been vaccinated to do so. But unfortunately, that message continues to fall on deaf ears. Today, a second win in the summer cash lottery drawing will be chosen. This after teacher Shelley Ryman of Winston-Salem became the first. The lottery created for Tar Hill residents who've received at least one shot of a COVID vaccination. Its goal, to convince more people to roll up their sleeves. But even as Governor Cooper spends time in Charlotte visiting a vaccination clinic in Uptown today, numbers say that these incentives are not swaying enough people to get vaccinated. Uh, we have not seen necessarily an increase, um, so, but it's hard to know what impact those prizes have had. If they, uh, you know, would it be a, a more steep decline without those price, without those prizes the state is offering? And with the emergence of more transmissible variants like Delta starting to spread, health officials say the need to get more people protected is vital. But they also acknowledge that the need is there to reduce hours or shut down altogether mass vaccination clinics. Before, this is really an intentional shift in our strategy as we scale back our larger vaccination sites. We're scaling up the number of primary adult and pediatric clinics that will offer vaccine. And just to underscore how dangerous this Delta variant is, they say that right now it accounts for one out of every four new COVID cases. They say by the end of August, it could account for 90% of cases in the U.S. We're here in Uptown, Richard Devane for Wake Up Charlotte. Richard, thank you. Let's look at the vaccine rollout by the numbers. The vaccine lottery is just one of the ways North Carolina is trying to boost vaccination numbers. But so far, the state is still lagging behind the rest of the country. Right now, 56% of adults are at least partially vaccinated in North Carolina. That's compared to 67% nationwide. According to CDC data, North Carolina ranks 36th out of the 50 states right now for vaccine doses among adults.